welcome back. Things are very much coming to a head in this story, which means we need to make sure we get as much as we can done on the side as, as much as possible. So that's why we've got an affinity scene here with Kathleen. Hey, Edel. Got a minute? Got to hand it to you, at all. Your swordsmanship has come a long way since you washed up on this island. I'm just getting warmed up. No. Huh. The only thing more impressive than your swordsmanship are your aspirations. I keep asking myself, what do I want to do so I can one day step out of my grandfather's shadow? I told you earlier that I didn't have an answer yet, but after watching you, I think I finally figured it out. I want to forge weapons for people like you, Adol. People who cut paths of hope for us all. That's the passion I feel within me. Looking back, I think I've had that passion my whole life. I know it sounds really simple when I say it, but my experiences on this island have helped me understand what that passion actually means. I, I'll keep rooting for you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Just hearing you say that is the best encouragement I could receive. Someday I will make a name for myself as a Lambert on my own terms. At last, I understand. I can carry out my own will. That's what my grandfather wanted for me. Knowing that at all, I want you to do something for me. Someday, perhaps during your next adventure. If you happen to find yourself in wrong, I want you to visit the Lambert Forge. Someone let me know, does that happen? I'll personally forge the sword that best represents the man you've become. As I know in the timeline, this isn't leading into nine. It's leading into... I can't remember what, actually. I look forward to that day. Yes. As do I. Until then, I promise to work hard and become an even better blacksmith than I am now. <laughs> Master says, your last red hair. Of a Master Kong of Ripe Manko? Yes, of course. We'll see how well you fare against me, mate. Team because of all my spam. No. It's just I was pressing triangle and I hit it wrong. In case you're wondering what that was. Trying to get another guard. You're down, mate. Seems the match is over. That'll try out Master's skill. That'll learn Brave Charge. And thank you for teaching me. Master says, I didn't teach you, you learned it on your own. <laughs> I'm sure he's just being modest. No kidding. It seems the six of us have each learned a skill from him. Hmm. Huh. What's wrong? Master? I have nothing left to teach you, but Rakota's mentor tells me that your village is in trouble a lot. If you want, I can help you. Penny, Master. Help us? Does that mean you'll join us during beast raids? <laughs> That'd be great. 
Yes, you're more than qualified. Don't you agree, Adel? Then it's settled. I'll head to your village now. <laughs> He's offered us more help than I ever expected. Indeed. One master is worth a hundred, no, a thousand warriors. This place is amazing! It's certainly changed. Seren Garden? It's the same place from Donna's memories! What a relief! The prayer tree was able to protect Seren Garden after all. This place is beautiful! Yes, but the Tree of Psyches is... Hmm. It seems much bigger than when we saw it in your memories. Let's examine it. I mean, it probably needs to be much, much bigger, doesn't it? We're screwed! Yeah, yeah. How's it doing? Not good. It didn't work. We're all going to die. The tree has continued to grow since my era, and while it has grown in power, it seems the number of psyches still isn't enough. Sorry I got your hopes up, everyone. Is there another way? I don't know. We gotta try something. I've read about this in a book. Just give the tree more fertilizer, then it will grow. In which case, more fertilizer would mean more psyches. If that were possible, Dana wouldn't have needed to work so hard. What should we do, Adol? It's no use for this sort of thing. The Wardens? What? Well, what's going on here? Hmm. This place should have been destroyed by the tectonic shifts that predated the human era. This is her doing, no doubt. Ah. No matter, restoring the garden was an exercise in futility. Hmm. Are they going to sacrifice themselves? In order to make the tree grow? Sarai. So, you've regained your memories. And all, when your companions may rest easy. As I said before, we are merely observing you. Have my word that we will not cause harm to you or this place. Your word, huh? I think we can trust them. Are you sure? Yes, they said the same thing to me in my era. Their duty is to just observe, but why? Yeah, why have you come here? We sensed an abundance of psyches, so we came here to assess the situation. The restoration of this garden would explain why we felt what we did. We learned that you are the creator of the Seren Garden. Why would a warden of evolution create a means of defying the great tree? I understand now. You are sharing Dana's memories amongst yourselves. Surely you know what makes someone worthy of being chosen to become a warden? Only the brightest soul amongst the species is worthy of being chosen. Correct. Which is why I try to do exactly what Dandra is attempting. I defied the Lacrimosa in hopes of saving my people. Did you all do that? Yes, though our species and eras differ, that one commonality runs through us all. See, that's significant then. I extensively researched the Lacrimosa for growing food and sleep in hopes of saving my people. I discovered that it could be stopped, but only by amassing a vast number of psyches. Thus did I use all my knowledge and power to build Seren Garden. Even so, the psyches I amassed in my era were too few in number. And so, having done all I could, 
I watched my world die. My word. I too tried to save my world using the same means as my compatriot here, but the outcome was no different. The span of time required to amass the number of psyches needed is beyond your reckoning. I don't get it. Why did you become wardens in the first place? Our families and loved ones were taken from us. Can you even imagine what it feels like to be the last living member of your species? Uh, only the omnipotent might of a god could unleash the heavens' wrath upon Eternia. Faced with the power of the Lacrimosa, what we could do was succumb to despair. When Psyches succumb to despair, they're captured by the Great Tree of Origins. By this process, the Great Tree creates a new Warden of Evolution. But if that's true, then you, of all people, should understand the situation we now find ourselves in. If there is even a chance of preventing the Lacrimosa, no matter how small, then we... You have my sympathies, but please do not misunderstand me. Huh? I have since come to accept the necessity of the Lacrimosa. As a Warden, I have long witnessed this world's iterations for a long time. Stagnation and deformation accumulate as long as a single species continues to claim unabated dominion over the Earth. The species must be refreshed periodically to maintain the integrity of the Earth. There's no reason why you humans should be the exception to this rule. Hmm, we can't give up now. Perhaps it's selfish of us to feel this way. We can't surrender the memories we've made together here in the present. Nor can we surrender the dreams we've entrusted to the future. <laughs> it would seem that there are other humans whose souls are as bright as adults. You also selfishly defy that I can merge until the very end. Your sentiment is not lost on me. Adol would not have been chosen to become a warden if he were the type to give up now. This too must be the will of the great tree. Hmm... The more hope you have, the more despair is created when the hope is finally crushed. I don't... I think maybe you guys have interpreted it wrong. Let's allow Adol to do as he pleases. May hasten both his and Dana's ascension into our fold. I'm sure the Great Tree is eager to welcome back its disgraced daughter. <sighs> so be it. We will provide you with as much advice as we are permitted. Really? Yes, please listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. If you wish to defy the Lacrimosa, then you must grow the tree. But I thought it didn't have enough psyches to grow. How are we supposed to... Psyches flowing into here belong to those who lived before the Lacrimosa appeared. The innumerable psyches of those who face rejection and contained with... the Great Tree... Should you release those psyches from the Great Tree, the number of psyches flowing into here will increase and cause the tree to grow. How do we release the psyches from the Great Tree? I'll explain the process in greater deal once you arrive. Adol, can you make your way to the Great Tree of Origins? Sh wait a minute. We will wait, but you do not have much time left. Make sure to come fully prepared so you can face what lies ahead without regret. It's that point of no return. That's why I had me a bit sort of like, hmm. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't sound very convinced that we can stop the Lacrimosa. Hmm, then death of him. Lacrimosa is the law of the land. They've been observing it for a long time. So I understand why they may be skeptical. But we're not turning back. Yeah, if we don't do anything, the world's gonna end. Which I'd love to walk away from this. We gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go, Adol. They told us to come to the Great Tree, but what do we do about the fog? We didn't get through it before. I know what to do. What did what, what did you do? I stepped forward. Okay, that worked. What? It's inviting us inside. Fine by me. Ready, Adol? Lively school. Emergency! Emergency! Castaway Village! Raided! Raided! Many from
Cobra Mountain. Many primordials. If you have time, come back. If, if I have time. Stand your ground. We can't afford to lose now. Use all our defenses to drive back those raiding beasts. Now let's fight elegantly. I suppose. Go. Yes, yes, quite. Level 70 though and I'm 64 is going to be difficult. We'll see how we fare. Hold on a second. Let's make things interesting. Everyone, charge! Strike while the iron's high. You're pretty good. Come on, big guy. Let me help you. Let's end this. Let's be aggressive. I suppose we should be aggressive. A surprise attack. Be careful. Let's actually put that back up and yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one. I can keep going. Oh, I was going to use the thingy on the big one that was coming, clearly, but it never did. Great. Well, I'll use it in this next round. Next wave. Wow, that's good! All right, let's do this! Matter of heart! Oh, hi! Doggy squad doing fast! Doggy squad doing fast! Bow down to my authority! wondering by the way in terms of us getting like the true ending and stuff like that I know I needed a hundred ninety eight something or others like reputation or something like that we passed that a little while ago just so you know I'll protect my family thank you very much there's a big one just begun Everyone, follow me. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. Lovely. Ooh. I was gonna I was gonna use the thingies then. Thanks that I just noticed it's ready. It's it's ready. I need to get the fishing gun at some point as well, so we can get shoe bill sorted. Good, good. 
More coming. Yeah. Battle report. Battle report. Thanks. Yeah. No Let's one. go. Doggy squad struggling. Doggy squad struggling. Hey, like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was helpful. Too late. I'll join Over you. Over here. Over here. Yeah. Believe in your weapon. I saved. Yeah. 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 The target. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come your way. Take this. I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, follow me. Yeah. All right, let's attack now. Let's end it. Let's do this. Here, 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 let's do this. You're pretty hot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I think every one of these is dead. Please use this. Right there. I can fly there. I'll join in. Let your fighting spirit burn. I think we're doing okay considering it's level 70 and I'm level 64. <laughs> Final wave. <laughs> I'll support you. Battle right report. Right <laughs> Take this! Ah. Doggy Squad doing well. Doggy Squad yeah. doing well. Yeah. Let's end this. Yeah. Too late to yeah. hey. I'm not going down. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Big one coming through. Are you ready? Here. Ready. Obviously. What a nice tail. I like that that's hitting the gong apparently. Or is that thing? There's Laxie running out to hit the gun. Not bad, not bad. Again, happy with that considering I'm level 64. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, great job! Yeah, went well. We kept everything up. It's cool. Not bad. I mean, come on. Hmm. That's impressive. Ooh, golden emblem. Well, it seems we've had a few things open up now as a result of that. We've got affection scenes all over the place and a few quests, which is obviously we'll get them done. So, doggy. I was thinking of drinking that liquor you gave me the other day. You should join me. You get us pumped up before the fight. Woo! <laughs> that 
That'll put some hair on your chest. Man, that burned good going down. Haven't felt that in a long time. Slow down a little. <sighs> it's gonna take more than one cup to put me under, so don't you worry. Still, as far as wild adventures go, this one definitely takes the cake. Biscuit. You think you'll ever stop getting us roped into trouble all the time? I don't know, ask God. No. Oh man, I guess there's no cure for being an adventure addict. Anyway, you just leave the village to me. I'll make sure it's still standing when you guys come back. Speaking of which... It's not like I'm really worried about it or anything, but... You are coming back, right? I know we're not strangers to danger, but I'm legitimately worried this time. I mean, the Lacrimosa might just be the craziest thing you've ever had to deal with. I'm just saying, I got this weird feeling you might not come back from this one. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm coming back with Donna, no matter what. Yeah. No matter what? Uh, didn't she have a vision about that being... Impossible? That's put warnings in my head. Man, you are such a... Uh, oh well, it's not like I expected anything less from you. Donna will do anything to protect as many people as possible. Whatever happens, you know I got your back all the way. But you gotta promise that you'll drink with me when you come back, alright? I intend to drink till my teeth start floating, so you better be ready. Teeth aren't meant to float. That's... That's a bad thing. That's... That's bad. We got one here of Laxia as well. May I speak to you in private, Adol? Um, you see, there is something that I want to address with you. Will you come with me? No. in stopping the Lacrimosa, we will still leave this village regardless. We made this village together. It's bittersweet, that's all. You've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think so? If I have, it's because of everyone in the village. And because of you, Adol. When we first arrived here, I was unkind to you due to my feelings toward my father and house. Perhaps I was afraid of losing my status and honor as a noble. After all, that's the last thing my father left me. But everyone I've met on this island, they're all so different, and yet they're able to live their lives with such vigor and confidence. I was so preoccupied by my fears, I didn't realize the others were saving me until it had already happened. But I understand now. No matter what circumstances may befall a person, they can still live on with pride. That's why I wanted to properly thank you. I thought you were going to say something romantic. At all. Sometimes you make jokes that seem completely out of character for you. Indeed. Even that quality reminds me of him. My word! I just wanted you to know how grateful I am so I don't have any regrets later! Uh, um, which is not to say that my feelings for you are limited to gratitude. <laughs> Never mind. Now then, Doki and the others are keeping the village safe, and we must fulfill our duties too. But of course. Let's fight with all our might until the very end, Hadal. Wait, did you just spawn a quest, Hummel? I don't remember you having a quest before. Stop getting quests. Let's talk, Adol. Is something wrong? What's wrong? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to worry you. 
transporter should never reveal their civilian identity. But you have helped me greatly. My name is actually... Reen Schwaza. It means nothing to you, but... So I figured you should know how I got into this line of work. The Tribaldo family have operated as transporters in society's underbelly for generations. For that reason, some consider my family to be inheritors of a dark legacy, and I've always resented my father for choosing to continue that legacy. One day, when I was barely ten years old, my father and I got into a fight, and I ran away from home. I was young and had nowhere to go. So I ended up living on the streets. I was out there, shivering in the cold, when an elderly couple found me. They ran a small orphanage and took me in. There were lots of kids from different walks of life at the orphanage. New kids, myself included. I could only see despair in their futures, seeing the hopelessness in our faces. The couple brought in a street performer for us. When the show started, her eyes lit up, as if someone had cast a spell to put smiles on our faces. After watching that show, I began to idolize street performers. So, when I came of age, I set out to become one myself. Your juggling was very impressive. Hmm. Hmm. I'm self-taught and spent a long time practicing. Years later, after I had garnered some fame as a street performer, I happened to stumble across my father. He was in an alley, lying on his back. I could tell right away his wound was fatal. To this day, I still don't know if he recognized me beneath the clown makeup. He entrusted me with his cargo before breathing his last. Such is the fate of those who dwell within society's dark underbelly. As for his cargo, it appeared to be some sort of contraband, but I decided to fulfill his dying wish and delivered it for him. The recipient of the contraband turned out to be a back alley doctor. However, the contraband itself was medicine to treat a spreading disease. I later heard that it was used to treat the kids who came to watch me perform. At that moment, I learned that people could still do good, even within society's underbelly. I also learned from the doctor and my father's journals that my family had influenced events throughout history. That's when I finally understood my father, and I could not stop crying. From then on, I set out to create a new legacy for the Tribaldo name. You must be proud of your work. <laughs> I wouldn't go bragging to the world about this line of work. But at the same time, if my work makes a difference, that's all right by me. Anyway, that's my story. Let's keep helping each other until... Aha! There you are, Adol and Hummel. Uh-oh. What are you guys doing up there? It's super suspicious. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to climb back down. Adol. Let's keep helping each other until the end. Right. And we have one here with Little Paro. Going out to sea, I want to see the sea. Many primordials, many primordials. I'm fed up, at all fed up. Thanks, Paro. Just like, yeah, seems right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, thank you very much. Uh... I'll keep an eye out. You guys do your best. Being warden hard? Don is having a harder time. Well... You guys are here now. Donna is happy. I dream. You're not just any parrot, are you? Dream of you guys. But dreams must end. What happens to the dream? What do you mean? I like Adol. I like him a lot. 
Keep it up, battle! I'll watch, I'll cheer! Interesting. Very, very interesting. But I think we shall end this part here because we do have several quests to probably try and get done in the next part. I feel like as a result of that, we're probably going to have some more affection scenes and stuff like that because you can see the ones we've got to do here. We've got to fight her. Got to go kill things. Got to go kill things. Probably can get the kill things done without actually picking up the quests. They'll just be done sort of thing. But I also want to get the fishing done as well. Even though my head is like, what? Very, very itchy now. It's like, yeah, I know, head, I know. We'll get it sorted, though. So, that's the plan. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.